Okay. Uh, what do you think Italy should do to manage the big force of immigration flows? Well, I think Italy did uh, pretty well with the Marino Storm uh, operation that was a uh, search and rescue. Uh, but then Italy did uh, little, I would say, to manage uh, the, the migration flow itself. Because once people enter Italy, then they leave. Uh, what Italy should do, I think, uh, well, I have no answer to, 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 to give to Italy on, on this point. No lesson to, to give to Italy in this. Sorry for this. <laughs> okay. What should it be the role of Europe to help Italy and the other Mediterranean countries to manage the forced immigration flows? Well, European countries uh, can help in, in several ways. Uh, some European countries are already very active in uh, taking refugees, like Germany and Sweden. Uh, they don't arrive first in Germany and Sweden uh, always, but uh, Germany and Sweden are the countries providing um, the more uh, uh, resettlement uh, opportunities for refugees. So that is important. Um, what uh, European countries should do uh, is uh, also, I think that the issue of solidarity uh, must be reconsidered because uh, we are always uh, talking of uh, solidarity between member states while we are dealing with an issue that, is, that goes beyond. Solidarity has to be uh, between Europe and the countries that are uh, receiving the largest number of refugees, which are not European states. Uh, for the crisis in the Middle East, these countries are Lebanon, Turkey, Jordan, Iraq also. And solidarity should be with these countries. So what Europe could do, I think, is uh, opening uh, opportunities for asylum in these countries. And that would certainly uh, result in many uh, uh, people not choosing to go uh, by sea, to be smuggled by sea, but applying in EU embassies if these EU embassies would open visa opportunities for uh, refugees uh, where they are actually, in the countries of first asylum. Uh, either uh, this could be humanitarian visas or it could be also any other kind of visa that would allow the people to access uh, the European Union. So that would help also Italy, because it would diminish the flow of people crossing uh, to the Italian shores. Okay, and uh, do you think uh, USORI is a possible solution for the Mediterranean uh, countries to recognize the right of second generation immigrants who are a big part of the social fabric of these countries? I think uh, Jus Soli should be uh, applied everywhere in the world. It is uh, when you are born somewhere, you understand that somewhere, you are part of that somewhere, and you should be granted citizenship. But this is not what's happening. Uh, increasing numbers of European countries are putting Jus Soli into the uh, uh, legislations on uh, nationality, nationality laws, like Germany, for example. Germany was strictly Jus Sanguinis until uh, it reformed, I think it was in 1999, something like that, um, its nationality law uh, to take into account the fact that many people, in particular from Turkey, was, were born in Germany. Uh, but I think that all the countries should do more than that, like other countries uh, do, like, uh, well, France, for example, uh, is, is very strong on this Jus Soli, but uh, the UK also, other countries. And I think that this is the future because people moving uh, should be uh, granted uh, rights where they uh, actually grew up. Okay. okay?